So they have uh, like boat buses here. They're just you know boats that are, people use them as, as transit. Um, they run every hour, and we missed one by one minute. We had to get tickets because we weren't really sure where we were going. There's like this tourist map, and it kind of got scrawled on by the person. Oh, so I think we're going here. Pretty bad. Okay. So anyway, we're here waiting for like 55 minutes till the next boat. Right, just so that we can be there when dust hits and all the mosquitoes come out. Which then, I don't believe. He's worried second. about getting dengue the fever. Book says dengue. You can get dengue the book. fever. The book. the book says it. But do I really want to take a chance here? The book, the book lies, people, and he believes it. Mentiras. Well, Mentiras. No, dengue fever is definitely something that's getting worse as climate change happens. He's going to so get dengue fever in his head anyway. I'm probably not going to get dengue yeah. fever, but I don't really want to risk it, but I guess in this case I will. Oh, yeah. That's what they look like. I mean, that's pretty cool. They keep the bags on the roof. I guess this is their attempt at a map. Not that it tells you anything, really. It's like we're bored. Can I have my ticket? Can I have my ticket? Or do you want to just see? I think the question must be asked, which boat is ours? Because there's like four of them. There's like a million of them. Do you know where we're going? No. Okay, I don't either. Those? Is it those? Where are we going? Uh. Where are we going? Yeah, just show them in the ticket. A few moments later. Alright, well, somehow we got on the right boat. I mean, not originally. Funny. We got on the wrong one. Oh, did you get that? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, alright. We had to show him the map, and he was like, ah, oh, this boat. This is quite the operation. So now we're hemmed in by a fifth boat. I guess they all just kind of pulse out of here once an hour. They ripped off the bottom of the ticket, I guess that's how they what check it. What saying Levanta? I don't know. This whole thing makes no sense. Like, I know. How often do tourists come on here, I wonder? Very rarely, I think. Because this boat arrived late, we're kind of stuck here until everyone can board it because they have to use our boat to get to that boat. It looks like he controls the boat with a big lever. Okay, they just untied it. That is a much nicer boat than ours. I mean, it's more authentic than being on that. You yeah, gotta give it that. Authentic. We're letting it rip now. It's very loud. Is this like a private stop? Boat is. What happened? I think it might be 
be a problem with the boat. I don't know. Some problem with the boat, maybe? Yes. <laughs> Well, here's your dramatic tension. If we're here long enough, the mosquitoes will come out. Oh, absolutely. Based on the way people are reacting, it seems like this is a fairly normal occurrence on these things. No. That didn't sound good. Looks like the captain is uh, on his phone, perhaps on the help text line or yeah. looking up how to fix a boat. Some of the passengers are giving advice now. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Wow. They just called a new boat. I mean, we literally walked between other boats to get to the boat back to the main dock. So I guess when they bring it in, they'll just slide up next to us and we'll cross over. We'll see. One negative thing I want to say about this is I don't think it's um, ADA. <laughs> no, it's definitely not. I don't know why they're calling a new boat. We could get ourselves out of here on our own. So I mean, like we've been going for like half an hour, so it might be a while before the next boat shows up, right? They have to dispatch it. <laughs> What's that? What'd she say? What'd she say? Dengue fever is coming. <laughs> You're funny. Real funny. I'm gonna read what the book said at some point. I'm gonna sh show you what it says. Okay, does that have pictures? No. <laughs> Look how bored all those people are. We're having fun. I'm having a blast. I don't know how you're doing, but yeah. I'm genuinely having a great time. Oh, she's loving it. Okay, so this is what it says. The book. Heavy vegetation and rich bird life, as well as clouds of mosquitoes, make the network of rivers feel tropical. And then it says, the delta gets very hot and humid in summer, and the mosquitoes, the mosquitoes are ferocious. So bring insect repellent. That's all. And then I'll show you the dengue sign where you get back to uh, Buenos Aires. Is this the rescue boat? Oh, women and children first. Yeah. Well, they got an escape. They got an escape. Oh, somebody called for them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's great. <laughs> that boat just dropped someone off via our boat. Oh, come on. It's literally the Angela. But it's not gonna help us. It's not the angel I thought it would be. Maybe this next one? Alright, so is this our rescue boat? This is a completely different one. It has different seats. Alright. So I think what it is that this is gonna this is the next scheduled boat. I think this is probably the six o'clock departure That's from, from town. So I think now we're just gonna have to take this back in because there's no other boat. This will be the last one. We may see the sun set. Yeah. And which is reap the and Yeah, we'll reap the consequences afterward. Oh, there is a bat. Look at that. Well, this is fun. We get two boats for the price of one. I think we're getting our uh, 1,000 Argentinian dollars worth. That's right. Did they ask if you were going to Boca? No. Just me. Oh, what'd you say? <laughs> I said no. What'd they say? Yeah. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh, our crew has to stay on board. Yeah, the captain has to go down with the ship. I wonder if this is a more desirable boat to drive. It doesn't have a big stick, it's just levers. Feels good to be moving again, huh? Oh, yeah. Ton of people getting off here. We're at the Museo Casa Sarmiento, which is letter A on this map, and the whole thing goes all the way out there. So we've we've barely gone anywhere. This is like a 
a more fancy like resort type of thing. I see these people waiting on docks for boats. I wonder how you actually like get them to stop. Do you flag them or if it's just coming? I don't know. All right, wow, people are actually getting on now. So are we gonna like loop around or like just turn it? Like is this the last stop? I don't know. It looks like we're just kind of turning around. So I guess we'll, we begin our trip back now. Actually, we didn't really loop around. We came up on that side, stopped there. Now we've come around on the other side. So we're, we're going back a different way. Well, one thing's for sure, this boat's gonna get very busy now. You know what, it's a Sunday, so it's probably people coming back from their vacations out here. But I just wonder, like, we're already at capacity, basically, from one stop. So, like, what about all the others? These guys are trying to flag us down. Maybe they're just waving. Here's, like, another insanely crowded dock. We're gonna pick these. There's no speed limits on this river, too. I, I think this were in the USA, they, they'd be speed limits everywhere. All right, these people gotta pick up. It's like, there's definitely a rhyme and reason to it, but I, I just don't know what it is, and it's not communicated. We've got another throng of people getting on. We're gonna be very busy by the time we get back. I mean, we're gonna have to turn people away at some point. Can I say something? Sun is setting in the sky. Now mosquitoes make us die. Good one. Thank you. Sun is setting in the sky. Jason Taylor starts to cry. I, it's true. I am. I think we turn people back. I mean, there's, there's not everyone got on. Somehow we looped back around to like places we've been before. I think what we did is we looped around like that, and now we're coming back this way, which is how we came up as well. Tickets coming back. That's good to know. Yeah, I almost threw this away. Oh, glad he you would did. Throw me off the boat. He does have a lot of cash with him, so I assume you could buy a ticket if you had to. Oh yeah, that's true. This is the kind of stuff I have no idea how they coordinate. Like we have someone getting off here now. Immediately after, we're picking two people up. Is that because we let two people off, so now we have the capacity for two people, so it's like completely ad hoc, or are we just supposed to stop at the stop? I like how the emergency exit is just the windows. Jump. I don't think they are picking them up. I wonder if they send out empty boats to go pick up everyone who's waiting. Like I, I wonder if you just kind of like sit out on the dock and just kind of know it's going to be a while until a boat with enough capacity comes to pick you up. Like it might be as simple as that. I'm, I'm not sure. That would make sense. And a tree and a whistle. And well, unfortunately. It, Wow, and suddenly out of nowhere we're back on the main river with the amusement park. Back at the terminal, we just gotta loop around the river and we'll be done. We're effectively parallel parking a boat right now. Are we already getting out? I think people are already getting oh, out. Oh, I guess we're here. Well, I guess we made it back before the mosquitoes came out. Yeah, huh? it looks like it. I told you there was nothing to worry about. Gracias. All right, guys, do you regret not doing the catamaran? No. No. No, that was that amazing. Was, we got more but, than our money's worth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just really impressed with the operation. I mean, you, geez. It's a little rat dog. This boat's a lifeline to all those places. It brings water, it brings supplies, it brings bags, and, and they do it in a way that is like poetry in motion and yet it makes absolutely no sense how it works. Um, the, whole, the whole kind of like dock life that these people have, it's really right. cool. It's they would really back up to the dock and someone would leave, they'd throw the rope around, they'd cross over, and that was it, they'd leave. Right. So fast. But there were a lot of people that looked like they were stranded too, so right. we, we don't know what happens to them. In the meantime, it's back to traffic caused by cars.
guitars are an important way of getting around, and you just threaten my livelihood by playing a vine boom over saying the, the name Cars, and I feel threatened, so I really am mad.